Hey y'all, hey, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message, this tarot card reading, tarot card message for hey, hey. B dub. And his new relationship, his new girlfriend. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot, sometimes it's not. You gotta watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. Spirit is acknowledging that this is a bromance, not a romance, not my business, not my problem. Spirit is acknowledging as well when it comes to these two energetically coming together. Um, there's a swirl of communication. At the heart of it, you want peace. There is an issue here. Uh, Spirit is acknowledging that there's a musical instrument in one hand and a drink in the other. This is about pleasure. Spirit is also acknowledging what is it that you really want? Like say it with your chest. There's an incubation period right now where they're still manifesting and trying to create and foresee what this relationship can do and or be what it can blossom to. But Spirit said there's also this energy of wanting to escape. So getting with this energy to escape something and getting with this energy to blow off steam, to be rebellious, to focus on merriment, overindulgence. Okay. You need to get grounded in this energy and there's an energy of divination prayer. Okay. So someone is with the other to escape from something bigger and spirit said they're going to keep staying in this energy until they get what they want. So they have breakthrough solution, originality, receptivity, and faith. Cats have nine lives. This is also an energy around like a Holly weird gaining some type of fame and or attraction. Okay. Um, now spirit tell me to keep pulling. There's also this energy of someone being lazy in this energy. Um, no interest, no response, inertia, false start. This is also my pregnancy card. So be oh, I was about to say be cognizant of that. I was also gonna say be weary of that, but that's I mean that's what y'all that's what y'all want. That's my business. All right, spirit is also acknowledging that in this energy is gonna be raining cats and dogs. Okay, so in someone being lazy, in someone having this no interest, this uh this interest, uh, inertia, false start, and or pregnancy, there's going to be um it's gonna be raining cats and dogs. Emotional and or water sign, um, temporary intensity, surrender, this too shall pass, but you need to cleanse, you need to release in order for it to go. Um, Spirit is acknowledging this is a karmic relationship, star-crossed lovers. It's not written in the stars for these two. I do see blue that is being communicated upon around how this is passionate or affects the pa um, the heart chakra in the area of passion, not just in work, but also in like romance, okay? Um, it's also affecting the heart chakra. Someone is stumping, hey. thank you, Spirit, in the water to gain reflection, to gain direction, to ask themselves, why am I here? How do I take accountability and responsibility for the turmoil that I am causing in this other person's life? Be that him to her or her to him. So you are to gain your reflection. Reflection. This is a star-crossed lover. This is a karmic debt. You're supposed to learn a lesson and move on. It is spicy. It is enticing, but it also burns. You know, mama say, don't touch that pot. You're going to get burned. You're going to get burned. Not my business, not my problem. And in this relationship, in them having issues, um, if they haven't had any already, they will. Uh, this is uh, alleged and for entertainment purposes. This is going to make someone happy. Got some crazy eyes here, okay? Um, there's some mental health issues in this energy as well. Like, you know how somebody want to see you down bad? They prey on your downfall. That's the energy that's coming through when it comes to their relationship. It's a total content. It's a yes, success, wishes, granted, mastery, joyous resolution. You know that energy, like I told you so, that's what an energy is acknowledging as they're looking at this relationship. They're like, I told you so. I told you it was going to happen. All right. And in this energy... It's pointing fingers, pointing blame, poking the bear, okay? Emotional also having to do with the sacral energy, sexual energy. Suffering fools is the energy. When they look at this relationship, they're like, you're suffering, fool, disdain, displeasure, poking fun, read between the lines. But one finger is pointed, several fingers are pointed back. There is an energy that is observing their relationship. Um, and this has to do with Georgia. Could be in Georgia. Don't know. Never read on him hey. before. Thank you, spirit. Um, sweet as a Georgia peach. It's a lot of communication, a swirl of communication. And this does affect... Uh, the sacral energy, sexual energy, ball of emotion, um, kindness, tender care, charm, beauty, flirtation, a delicious experience. This makes me feel like his relationship with her is also um, being viewed by, say, another individual. Be that on her end or his end, an ex, a lover, a friend, okay? Um, because it's very entangled. It feels entangled. It feels like this is an entanglement, okay? Spirit is also acknowledging that there is this obstacle when it comes to him and her. Um, B-Dub and his new girlfriend. Don't know her name, okay? Um, but Spirit is acknowledging that this you're over here eating the grass because you believe the grass is greener. And I'm acknowledging B-Dub's energy. Um, but you need to overcome this obstacle because in all actuality, it's not. It's keeping you away from your purpose, your passion, your resilience, and your strength. Green affecting the heart chakra. There's boredom here, monotony, small-mindedness, branch out, move on. Novelty is needed. I'll show you
There's something else in the middle of the deck for Soul Spirit. Again, I was saying that it feels like this is a star-crossed lover. And it does. It, it is, it's acknowledging in this relationship that he's in, um, Dub, that um, this is going to come up short. Um, it's going to be communicated upon someone stepping on the heart chakra. Wilted flower, wilted love. Um, just love lost, okay? So there's an energy of arrogance, vanity, self-importance, being high and mighty. Modesty is needed. Dub's new girlfriend. Dub's new relationship. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So there's an energy that this could be the one on the surface. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Uh, subconsciously, there is going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation discussing honestly about their feelings for one another. And in the middle of the deck... Um, calling in your soulmate this is not your soulmate in the middle of the deck you both know that it's not and so spirit is just acknowledging like you're gonna be calling in your soulmate after you have this discussion um through your prayers affirmations visualizations to help you bring your true soulmate um together and spirit says back together dub and his current energy there's an energy of a need to move on, okay? There's also an energy of this new love. So you need to move on subconsciously from this new love. And you guys are going to be on and off. I'll show you to the ancestors. I'll show you to the universe. Dub and his new girlfriend. We do get the chiefest in reverse, strength tested, eight is significant. Things are a mess. You are handling your life over to fear. You are handing your life over to fear, anxiety, and self-doubt. Not making choices is a clear choice towards self-destruction. If the idea of self-discipline and self-control is overwhelming for you, think of self-devotion. You need help. I'll show you to the ancestors, I'll show you to the universe. All right, Dub, in regards to his new girlfriend, I don't know her name, like I said already. What's the energy? Spirit said this has a lot to do with work. Okay. Um, somebody is working in this relationship, trying to gain some leverage in this relationship. She could also be coming off as an ice queen. Spirit is acknowledging that she's a young female, could be lighter complected. Um, Spirit is also acknowledging that this is an open relationship. Spirit says something else in the middle of that. Thank you. It's a lot of money. Money, 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 money. Money. Dub, new relationship energy new girlfriend thank you friend requests forgiveness because someone's a jack of all trades got a girl in this arm and girl in that arm spit has already acknowledged that there's an open relationship and now they're drinking away their pain because they're in pain this is painful for dub it feels like he's dealing with a, a heart scorned anyway uh spirit is acknowledging that there's a friend request um asking for some forgiveness because of an action that was made and now they're drinking away their pain Dub and new girlfriend energy. Thank you. Somebody is moving. Feels like they're moving on, moving in silence in the middle of the deck. This situation is interesting because it feels like somebody's just wasting their time with the other be that him with her or her with him layered energy stuck no changes and limited because they're always partying. And here we go that money again. Somebody is definitely enjoying the fruits of somebody's labor. Dub new girlfriend current energy. There's the energy of the bone collector. Thank you, spirit. We do got the number one feeling like a fool, feeling like reckless, starting over, new beginnings, just going off the ledge and not really paying attention where you're going. You just want to follow this energy so much so that it could harm you because you're not paying attention. You don't have your footing. You're not grounded in this relationship. When the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whatever you're wounded, whenever you're wounded, this is what I was picking up on his energy. 
especially when we're young, it's as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation similar to the original event. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. The Bone Collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now you have everything you believe you lack and the bone collector is your inner resource act as if you have what you need you'll find you have it after all anything is possible with awareness and the wounds of the past need not define you so someone is moving and operating within this relationship based off of a past wound and you need to let that shit go so said let it go all right dub current energy around his new girlfriend Thank you. Okay, so there is an energy of the Page of Swords in reverse. Malice, hyper, um, hypocrisy, suspicion, problems. Someone who is unconcerned. Thank you, Spirit, with the feelings of others. Um, and with the Two of Wands, I need to make a choice. Pronto. Snap, snap. In the area of business, also in the area of pleasure. Two paths, decisions, options, planning. Grass is always greener on the other side. It's this energy. Um, <laughs> leaving. Uh, suddenly deciding to stay and or go waiting anticipating there's a decision that needs to be made when it comes to um, this new girlfriend sir with the four of wands why because your home is not happy it still ain't happy you're unhappy um it's just not a happy home and it's creating issues elsewhere you know what i'm saying what's next for um dub and his new girlfriend uh, seven of swords confessing coming clean turning over a new leaf conscious is clicking it clicking it kicking in with the ten of wands in reverse fire sign burning low in the area of business also in the area of passion um insurmountable problems um a resign to fate wanting excessive control over other people's lives and someone is going to be hoarding holding on to that money tightly be careful here they're holding on to the people and possessions and issues. There's some deep-seated past issues. There's some stinginess, control, financial stability, financial security, saving for a big purchase. Uh-oh, somebody is greedy in this relationship. It's going to be trying to hold on to something. And it just energetically feels like this is not a good fit. This is not a match. These are star-crossed lovers sending them love and light. This reading is alleged. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.